friends and family, this is Juan coming to you from New York City. Today is April 14 and today I want to show you a very interesting sign that is located in my neighborhood, Washington Heights, in the northern section of Manhattan. I've been living in this community since 1995. Uh, I came here when I was nine years old and I remember one of the first things that I saw one of the first things that uh, created a lasting impression in my unconscious was the building that we have directly behind me here. This is a complex of buildings, it's a hospital. It's the number one hospital in all of New York, number seven in all of the United States. Amazing things are happening in that building. It's been here since the early 20th century. Now, the sign that I want to show you is in the immediate vicinity. I find myself in a small park and uh, when I came to this country, one of the first things that I saw was this park. I was walking in the neighborhood and I was walking down this park. I was walking with my aunt and I asked, what is this building here? Uh, what is this building behind me here? She told me that it was a hospital. And it's interesting because at that time, when I was nine years old, I wanted to be a doctor when I grew up. Um, and I worked with that idea. I went to school, uh, studying, focusing on biology. Uh, so to develop that. In this, when I was in the seventh grade, I worked in this hospital as an interpreter, as a translator. I was really good with English and Spanish. There was great need, and even to this day, there's a, there's a great need for patients to communicate with doctors, patients and doctors who cannot communicate because of the language barrier. And I learned a lot. I walked through all the departments. I, I met all sorts of professionals involved in different fields, in the medical field, um, also social services as well. It's amazing. I have strong impressions from that time period. I was 14 years old and I worked again uh, when I was 15 years old as a translator. I graduated from high school, I went to college uh, to study biology, but when I figured that what I was really good at was working labs, working in laboratories, I changed my career. I changed from biology to art history and it's interesting because I did not really know why I did it, I just followed my instincts, I just followed my intuition. And today and age, I kind of apply a scientific mindset to visual analysis. Now, I am one that believes that everything that we have in front of us is because we are creating. Uh, quantum science is catching up to this idea, and I think New York is helping uh, people in building this understanding, in building this template, this mindset within their minds, so that we can finally realize that everything that we see is because we are creating. We are not disconnected from what we have around us. In fact, we are an integral part of everything that is around us, people included as well. At the very moment, I'm sitting on a huge piece of schist on a small park located between 166 and 167th Street and uh, between Broadway and St. Nicholas Avenue. The sign I'm gonna show you is just a couple of steps down. Let me be careful here so that I don't fall. Beautiful park named Mitchell Square Park. Mitchell was a mayor of New York City in the early 20th century during the time of the First World War. And the sign I'm gonna show you is located on 167th Street. It's just directly up ahead here. This work of art that you see directly in front here is a memorial to those who died on the First World War. Sculpted by Gertrude Vanderbilt Whitney, the person after whom the Whitney Museum is named after. Great philanthropist, lover of humanity, organizer of that wonderful museum that in recent times uh, relocated, uh, moved from its location in the Upper East Side to Greenwich Village. At the end of the High Line, amazing park, a park in the sky, as is branded. I prepared a more complete video on this work right over here. I'll provide a connection to it so that you can see it. Now, the New York Presbyterian Hospital across the street, and the sign that I wanted to talk about was right over here. This is it, this is Broadway Avenue. Broadway Avenue is the longest road in all of Manhattan. 
It goes from uh, the southern tip all the way up north and connects further north, connects all the way up to Albany, the capital of the state, and from Albany on, Broadway becomes a different route and connects to Canada. It's over 800 miles long, and that's because it used to be a Native American trading route. The first group of Europeans who settled in this island were people from Holland. 1624 is when they officially settled. They called the territory New Amsterdam, the southern end, and the northern end later on, they called it New Harlem. So the Dutch settled here in 1624. But before they settled here, they organized a trading expedition so to be able to communicate with uh, and organize uh, with the Native Americans here in this part of the world. The first person who provided the Dutch a connection to this part of the world was Henry Hudson, British uh, explorer who was working for the Dutch, trying to find a route to Asia. 1609 is when this happened. The, uh, Henry Hudson came to this part of the world, did not find a route to Asia, went back, told the Dutch that he found something better an area abundant with natural resources. The Dutch took heed and in 16, uh, in, in a couple of years later, they went to what today is the Dominican Republic or La, La Española, the Spanish one. La Española used to be the center of organization in the New World. So they went to La Española, they organized resources, so to organize a trading expedition here to see what it was basically that they were going to need in order to organize a settlement in this part of the world. They hired a man, his name was Juan Rodriguez, as you can see uh, over here on this sign. He was really good with languages, they hired him so to be able to communicate with the natives. It's interesting, this was in 1613, about 10 years before they officially settled here. Uh, Juan Rodriguez remained living on this island in Manhattan, or Manahata as the Native Americans called it. He remained living here, uh, the Dutch returned to Holland, and later on in 1624 is when the Dutch returned and established the first permanent settlement in this part of the world, on the southern section of the island. As I mentioned, they called it New Amsterdam, and this lasted up until 1664. This is when the British took control of the territory and named it New York. So now you know, first immigrant, first person who lived on this island, immortalized and memorialized in this street sign here in the northern section of Manhattan. Juan Rodriguez Way is a section of Broadway Avenue running from 159th Street to 218th Street. My friends, New York is unlike any other city on the face of this planet. Its visual diversity is incredible and provides a connection to people from all over the world. I encourage you to log on to my website, 5dguy.com, learn about the cultural visual patrimony in this amazing city. If you are on YouTube, subscribe to my channel so to be up automatically updated when I put up new videos. I'll be uploading new videos on a regular basis. This way you can keep a digital connection and if you find yourself in New York, participate in one of my tours. You can learn about my tours if you go to my website 5dguy.com. I'll show you around Harlem and in other sections of New York. Have a wonderful afternoon or morning depending where you are and when you are watching this video. Goodbye.